cut that as a segue. Yeah, okay, I can do it. You ready? Hi, I'm Corey Doggett, and welcome to my master class. Hi, I'm Corey Doggett, Director of Media for Team Envy, Dallas Fuel and Dallas Empire. Uh, before we get started, uh, be sure to uh, give this video a like and subscribe. Subscribe? I don't know exactly sure where it is. I should know. Uh, free to give us, I don't want to. Uh, it definitely helps us out a ton and uh, it helps you stay informed of all the cool stuff we have in store for you. Well, I mean, I was a music video director, so I did a lot of weird stuff. Uh, <laughs> so for a while I was doing a lot of music videos and stuff like that. We worked for this band. Uh, and we shot a movie with them. It was like a low budget horror movie, it was like 20 grand. But the weirdest thing I ever had to do was we did this scene where this guy, he, <laughs> he was in this room with And then uh, they ended up all over the place. And pumps of blood and it was just shooting That was probably one of the weirdest. You know, I met Hastro uh, on set because when he was one of the few people trying to actually make it as a pro gamer, he was working as a PA and stuff on set of commercials. And the, my first memory ever of Hastro was him telling me where to park my car. And from there, uh, you know, he had very similar um, friends to me uh, in the film industry. And then eventually he wanted to try to build out his um, his team on the media side. Uh, he kind of called in favors from, you know, people that he knew in the industry and I was one of them. Uh, so yeah, if I had to give the first tip is just be open to learning everything you possibly can. If you almost want to guarantee yourself to be able to get work is to know how to do everything. Uh, and I know that seems like a lot, but you know, even back when I started it was very few editors knew how to do motion graphics on top of that and I think that's what helped me stand apart especially in the um, in the advertising world I would I would say don't don't focus on being a specialist in a certain thing right away yes it can be your it can be a focus and your main focus but definitely don't close yourself off to other opportunities that may come the second tip would definitely be I know a lot of people don't say it but I'm a big proponent for going to school um, even if it's just for a year um, that experience you get with working with a class and, and, and actual professionals, uh, it really, really does help. Just like secondary learning, if, even if that's online tutorials, paying a little bit extra money and, you know, learn, taking a master class in something, it really, really does help. And it's a, I only went to community college. I didn't go to a big university. I don't ever see me needing to get a master's in film. Uh, and the relationships I built along the way doing that, um, gosh, I've worked, I still to this day work with friends from, from film school. I can't stress enough how important it is to, to just really surround yourself with people who know what they're doing. The most I've ever learned about anything has been on sets. You know, from a grip who's been around, who's 45 and I'm in this like 17 year old kid, like learning how to set up a C-stand for the first time. Uh, I've worked with some director photographies who have been around who are in their 60s, who've been shooting, you know, three quarters of their life at that point. That sort of knowledge is invaluable. Invaluable? Is that the right word? Being able to have access to that um, is a unique uh, situation. And I think taking advantage of that, even like I said, even if it's not where you want to be, it's super important. The next step and getting into esports or media in general. It's just getting to that point where you have confidence in whatever you're doing. Um, so when I'm looking to bring people on to Envy or you know to, to be a part of one of the other teams, uh, really first and foremost, the first thing I look at is, is your work. If you have an insane reel or you know, even if you've cut a couple f videos that are awesome, it doesn't even have to be like, years worth of work just as long as you can show me it's like this person knows what they're doing uh, that is the first huge step so demo reels are super valuable almost as important to me is just like how you are as a person like if you're a person that uh, you know the team can vibe with like that is huge because you know 
on a media team, you guys spend a lot of time together. You rely on each other. You have really tight deadlines, uh, and you're around these people a lot. So having you know just someone who is you know a team player, part of the team, and you know can vibe with everyone, it's like that's that's very very important. It is a very fun job, but it's also a very, very stressful job. It's constantly growing and there's tons of competition. Um, every day there's a new org that comes out, there's new, uh, new goals are being set and like we're expected to perform just to that level. Well guys, those are my tips for trying to break into media and uh, shooting and editing and all that sort of stuff in esports. Uh, Hopefully these tips can help you along the way. I hope to see, you know, you guys, you know, come forth and take over my job one day.